Hey guys, and welcome. It's Katie. And I want to talk you through what happened when I took an entire month off of work last year to just enjoy the holidays with my family. So in case you're new um, and we haven't met yet, my name is Katie. I want to just tell you who I am and kind of my story. I am that dirty word none of us like called a mom tog, which means that I wasn't interested in photography at all until I became a mom. And my daughter, who inspired me, is now almost 10 years old. So I have been doing photography for 10 years, but have no formal training and basically just DIY'd it and learned how to do manual mode and run a photography business from scratch by myself. I live in the Midwest. I'm in Wisconsin, right outside of Milwaukee. I am married and I now have three kids. So my oldest is 10. I also have an eight-year-old son. And then my youngest daughter is five. We just built our dream home last year, which we were able to do through the money I'm bringing in through my photography business. I was a nurse. I mostly worked in the ER, although I dabbled in a lot of different areas um, because I just like to dabble. And I can't just be doing one thing ever. Um, and I quit that in 2021 when I took my business full time. And like I said, I've been a photographer for 10 years. So that's just a little about me. Also, I hate photos of myself, so <laughs> it's always hard to share those. My timeline, just to kind of recap, my daughter was born in 2014, and that's when I bought my first camera. I got it off of Groupon, and it was a refurbished crop sensor DSLR, and that is how I really taught myself. For the next few years, I was so passionate about getting better. So I would ask coworkers or friends if I could just take photos for them for free. Um, after a few years of practicing, kind of really tweaking my editing style and learning how to be on my toes and always able to get good shots no matter what, I started to charge for my services. And that's when I started truly my side hustle. Um, I was doing cash only sessions. I was charging pennies um, and I did that for a little while. In 2020, when COVID hit and I was so burnt out from being a nurse, I really started to take my photography business seriously. I loved doing it. And I was sick of splitting my time between being a nurse and doing photography every weekend and every weeknight editing. And I just really wanted to focus on that. So I took the leap and I went full-time as a full-time photography business owner. I got a studio and I left nursing behind. Honestly, I've never looked back. I wish I would have done it sooner. Anyways, as a photographer, you know, we are so busy from like summer through fall, at least in Wisconsin where I live and the weather's yucky this time of year. It's currently March and I'm recording this and it's snowing. So anyways, by December, I wanted to try taking a whole month off. I had been working my tail off for several months. I had a million mini sessions, million clients throughout the year. I think I, I will count it up and give you guys a number, but I think last year I did somewhere between six and 700 sessions. So yeah, I was working hard. So I took a month off in December. I really just wanted to enjoy the holidays with my kids. Um, Christmas has always been a special time of year for us. You know, I like to slow down, go to all their school performances, wrap presents and drink eggnog and watch my favorite movie, The Holiday. Like I didn't want to work. So I kind of just said, I'm taking December off. I told my clients I didn't schedule any photo shoots. I mean, I rarely checked my emails. I'd check for new inquiries, but I wasn't doing a whole lot inside my business. And I truly just enjoyed my family. As you can see from my family picture, I um, have that dreaded photographer's kid syndrome thing happening where nobody will look and smile normal. The dog looks rabid. <laughs> This is what it's like to have your own photos as a photographer. Anyways, here's what happened. I'm basically the guinea pig. I want to show you. I took a month off, did not work, did not do any sessions, and I pulled up the records from my sales for 2023. And I just want to show you, if you look at the very bottom of this spreadsheet on month 12, that's December of 2023. That is the month I took off. The first column shows total sales. I grossed over $2,800 in total sales, which is wild, you guys. After you remove the client sales tax, the client shipping, the client product costs, I still netted over $2,300 in net sales. I took the month off. I did not work. 
Also, it's important to note here, I am a shoot and burn photographer. That means I just deliver digitals. I am not bringing my clients in and styling them. I am not doing custom wall art. I'm not doing client meetings to discuss products. I don't do that. I'm a shoot and burn photographer. Um, and these were the sales I was able to generate in December when I took the time off of work. So I was able to literally get paid while I slept. I would wake up to daily notifications saying a new sale came in. Um, and I felt like I really recharged and came into 2024 rested and ready to hit the ground running. Again, this was done through my gallery host, which is shoot proof. They have given me my own affiliate link, which is better than anything else you'll find on the internet. And it's a 25% off discount for the entire year. It's not just a month. It's the whole year, you guys. And it's well worth it. Um, so I just wanted to show you what is possible and what happened to me personally, taking 30 days off and I'm still making more than I could have as a nurse. Um, so in the next video, if you're interested, I want to show you how I did this. So make sure to log in and watch my next video. And we are going to go through the steps on how this was possible. So you can start doing this for yourself. Have a good day, guys.